Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I'm in the Water Filter East Store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about putting your clock FOB or FOC iron or sulfur filter into service as part of its installation. Now parts one to three of the process are exactly the same as how to install a clock water softener. So if you check out that playlist, that all that information is there. Part four is the programming, which is um, particular to the FOB or FOC. You can check that video out. And then the last part is putting it into service. Starting with the valve in the bypass position, that's these two red arrows, with the pointy ends facing each other. You wanna press the regen button and hold it down for about five seconds. And uh, after five seconds, you'll hear the motor start up, then you can let go. And uh, so it's first gonna go into the backwash cycle. So the backwash cycle is where it's gonna fill up the tank and it's gonna exhaust all the air. So what we need to do now is open up the valve about halfway. You don't wanna open up 100% because you may actually end up blasting some of the media out to the drain. So what's gonna happen now is through the drain line, you'll start to see first air go out and then you'll start to see some water mixed with the air. And then you'll also see some fines, some carbon or berm fines might also uh, come out uh, through the drain line. So it's gonna take about 10 minutes or so to fully fill up the tank and to flush out all the air. Once it gets to that stage, then what you're going to do is you're going to fully open up. It's going to take about 10 minutes and then you're going to fully open up the inlet at that point. Once you're at that stage, you press the regen button again and uh, now it's going to go into the brine cycle. Now for an FOB or FOC, it's not actually brine that's being drawn in, it's air. And the air is drawn in through here. This is the air inlet. So during the brine cycle, if you, if you listen closely up here, you'll hear like a gurgling sound. And that's because air is being sucked in and it's creating that air cap at the top of the tank. Now that air cap is what oxidizes the iron and the sulfur out of your water as it passes through the tank so it can be trapped in the, the, the media below. And uh, so give that the full 30 minutes cycle. Once it's finished that cycle, it'll automatically go back to the home position and it'll start to display the current time. Once you're at that stage, then you can fully open up the outlet. Now go to a laundry sink or a bathtub, somewhere that has a, a large faucet but doesn't have an aerator or a strainer on it. Let the water run because we may have introduced some debris during the installation process and we wanna make sure we flush that out uh, before the water in the rest of the home is being used. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of all the new videos that become available on this channel. If you'd like some more information, you can go to our websites, either www.thewaterstoremidland.com or www.thewaterfilterestore.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.